This is a Bigfoot and it's a 2018 version. This is 21 feet long with a front bed. So the door's in the back and the bed's in the front. This one had the largest restroom of all sizes. It has a separate tub shower enclosure. Can we take a look? Okay, the first is that there's so much storage in here. This is a pantry a uh, linen closet and my wife has put in little places for hot pads there hot pads okay and one of the good things i really like about this trailer is all the drawers come all the way out mm. nice. so we put our solar stuff there so there's those there um it has a three burner stove and an oven. Mm. And again, the drawers come all the way out. And it has a microwave. And more cabinetry. And more drawers that come all the way out. We found that we just ha found this and it fit in here mm. to rest on the top. So it doesn't take up that much room. This is one of the things is the, it has this round sink. This was the newest addition, uh, so it looked like an Airstream, but uh, it has a stainless steel round sink, which gives you more counter space. And this is something my wife has found. It goes over the this so you can uh, wash things and they won't fall in. And if you need less space or something, you can roll this up and it just kind of sits over here. Oh, you have a nice soap dispenser. Is this for hand soap or dish soap or? Uh, dish soap, yes. Okay. Uh huh. See, this is kind of neat. when it goes off. You know, first dim, mm -hmm. brighter, and then it fades to black. Mm. And this is the freezer, a lot, very large freezer, and refrigerator. Is it three way? It is two way. It's two way, okay. So it's electricity, AC, and propane, which is good because I destroyed two batteries with a refrigerator I put on battery and left it overnight hooked up to the car. Then it has a um, pull out pantry. That is so nice. Uh, it's got a place for a television set. We don't use it, but we have used it. You know, we use it for um, hats and a little fly uh, fan. And it has a double bed. Oh, this is a wardrobe closet that goes all the way to the front. So this goes all the way out there, but this goes all the way out to the front down there. And there's three more drawers below that. And has a curtain to separate the bed area from the dining area. This is the bathroom and there is a duct in here, right back on that wall, but it has the sliding door for the bathroom or for the shower. Oh, nice. And you have a little tub too. That is very nice to have a dry bath. And then there's the mirror on the inside. So it was the size of the bathroom that sold that, you. And it wasn't 25 feet. This is a 21. Okay. But the 25 is the bigger one. Okay. But even the bigger 25 one had a smaller bathroom. Bigfoot says, well, you may have Tennessee winters, okay, but not Canadian winters. Mm -hmm. This fit, you know, deals with Canadian winters. It's got a two and a half inch, uh, insulation, 30, I think it's a 30,000 BTU heater with ducting, uh, so much ducting that our holding tanks are in a third tank and there's a duct, a heat duct in there so that your holding tanks don't freeze. And it has double paned windows that are reflective coated so that during the daytime no one can see in at all, zero during the daytime. At night, if there's lights on, then they can. This is a Canadian trailer, right? Yes. Yeah. Canadian made. Now, something that we got, uh, we had, we took out the, the window shades that came with the trailer, 
and we had blackout, top-down, bottom-up uh, shades put in. This goes all the way, so from top down, I want to just kind of give you an idea how good they work. You are ready for Alaska. This is a pretty dark trailer. And so it comes in handy when you're going to Walmart where it's daylight mm -hmm. in the parking lot. Or Alaska. And we use those uh, tire locks. And we learned, the picture says to, to tighten them with a big nut in the top. We learned to use the, move that to the bottom. Because if you stick your hand up here, you end up lacerating your hand with the fiberglass. Mm. So we put the knob on the bottom. And the floor plan that's on their website is to scale. I determined that and when I was with the president of Bigfoot, he was surprised that somebody realized that. Up here, there's the two propane tanks. They're seven and a half gallon. They're seven gallon. I have a, a can of gasoline, five gallon ga can of gasoline. And back behind these are two six volt batteries. Yeah, so those are the larger propane tanks. Yes, and a power jack. The, uh, this guard comes down as a rock guard for the front. This is a, a humongous storage compartment, and it even has over here a light. Oh, nice. I've done some things to build cubbies in there for the specific things we have. These are special latches. They're called slap head. So you just oh. slam them down, shut. Nice. We got these. In. Camping world, they are so cute. They are cute. And it has water, either city water going in, or um, you can take a hose in here and push it in here, or drain it, gravity feed, siphon feed into there. This is the heater, the forced air heating. This is a very clever thing. This is a Santee flush. So when you're draining your tanks, instead of having to have a wand and a hose that you go like this and clean out the inside of the walls of the tank, you hook up a hose here and it has a built-in thing that goes and cleans the walls. And all of the holding tanks, all three, you know, black, gray, and clear, clean, fresh, all sensors are on the outside of the tanks. Nothing goes through the wall of the tank, so there's nothing that can get caught on anything and, and debilitate the, the sensor. This is our um, water heater. This is an outside sh um, shower. And these are the dots I was seeing. I, I know which way is, you know, when it's like this, it's locked and this is open. So it has a shower and a shower head. So you can take a shower outside if you wanted to or do dishes outside even. It's got porch lights and our power. And then on the back, you have a ladder. So that means you can climb to the top and up on the top. From over here, you can see a, a shield I put there. Round Bigfoot, a research team, and our license plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, very cool. So you added that guy. He's but he's the Bigfoot guy, right? Yep. For the company. So that, the logo, oh. logo for the company. Yeti so for us. A, okay, how about the awning? Is that a power awning? No. Or it's, it's manual. Not. It's manual, but I can I can put it out myself. Uh huh. It myself. It, One person. It has spring um, mechanics in the reel out there, so that it will roll itself up, and you mm. you have to hold on to it, or else it'll yank it out of your hand. Oh my! Is there anything that you don't like about it? The hardest thing for me to get used to was its width. It's a hundred inches wide. A semi truck is a hundred and two. The Casita is eighty. And so it's just, it's kind of scary, especially when I've got a semi on either side of me. But 
um, with all with my mirrors I can see where my wheels are in the lanes and and how much room I have beside the truck and and big rigs tend to move away just to give you a little extra room I do it for them they do it for me okay what was your annoying thing they by design made it so that you cannot use the microwave oven and the electric side of the hot water heater at the same time so there's a switch down near the floor that is a three position switch one where you flip it up for the microwave middle for neutral neither one works and down for the water heater so now i think you can operate the water heater by propane and use the microwave at the same time but you can't heat the water electrically and use the microwave at the same time what's your tow vehicle what are you towing it with i have a v8 uh nissan armada so that was their their big heavy duty one and uh, i got the v8 because this is just that much heavier it's about 4400 pounds dry so we're easily doing, you know, 5,000 or 5,500. The truck or the car does over 6,000, I think. So you've got the mirror extenders because of the width of the trailer then, right? Oh yeah, nice. It's glaring in here. So I found these. These are, I think they're limo screens. And so she can pull these out and not have the sun glare on her. That's very nice. But, you know, but I can still see through here for the mirrors. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Check out our next video.